Hey guys, welcome to Pill Reaction, where we will discuss about the drug and their adverse reactions. In this video, we will learn about paracetamol, which is also called as acetaminophen, and its adverse reactions. So, to start with, let's have a quick reference of paracetamol. Paracetamol is a non-opioid analgesic with antipyretic and analgesic activities. Since it is a weak inhibitor of cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2 enzyme in the peripheral tissues, it does not have any anti-inflammatory activity. Some of the brand names of paracetamol are Crocin, Matacin, and Dolo. Now, moving on to the mode of action. Paracetamol inhibits COX-3 enzyme, which is also a splice variant of COX-1 enzyme in the hypothalamus. Now, let's have a look at how this action of paracetamol helps in reducing the fever. Here, there are two types of pyrogens. That is, endogenous pyrogen, which are released during an inflammatory process in the body. And the other one is the exogenous pyrogen, that is the microbial toxins, like endotoxins. These pyrogens reaches to the hypothalamic endothelium and releases prostaglandin E2. This prostaglandin E2, also called as PGE2, is responsible to elevate the thermoregulatory point, which results in heat production, that is fever. I hope now we know the exact mechanism of fever. Here, antipyretics inhibit this PGE2, thereby preventing the fever. Now, we will talk about some of the adverse reactions of paracetamol. The most common adverse effect is nausea, vomiting, and rashes. The major part is the, the hepatotoxicity. But apart from this, in therapeutic doses, Paracetamol has negligible toxicity in most patients. However, when taken in overdose or by patients with severe liver impairment, the drug is a dangerous hepatotoxin. So for this, now we will look about the hepatotoxicity of paracetamol. For this to understand, first we will have a look on normal metabolic process of paracetamol. Paracetamol is metabolized in liver. Majority of paracetamol undergoes glucuronidation and sulfation, which is a phase two reaction and are converted into non-toxic metabolites and undergoes renal excretion. But a small amount of paracetamol is metabolized by cytochrome P450 enzyme and produces a potentially hepatotoxic quinine intermediate, that is N-acetide P-benzoquinine-imine, which is also called as NAPKI. This NAPKI is rapidly inactivated by conjugation with glutathione. Yeah, this glutathione is really helping us. However, in cases of overdose, this depletion of glutathione stores takes place. Yes, this is because in our body, there is only a limited amount of glutathione in hepatocytes. So now in case of overdose, high levels of NAPKI will eventually deplete all the glutathione stores in the hepatocytes. When this happens, NAPKI starts accumulating in the hepatocytes. Since NAPKI without the glutathione conjugation is a toxic metabolite, it will start causing the cell death leading to central lobular hepatic necrosis. And also worth mentioning that people who regularly consume three or more alcoholic drinks per day are at a risk of paracetamol induced hepatotoxicity. Thank you. Please like the video, share and subscribe to our channel.